What do we know about him? He's 31, he has a string of juvenile convictions, but more importantly, he's a member of a right-wing militia group. Oh, that's a comfort. Sons of Freedom, they're called. There is about 30 of them based out west. And they believe in this all-white culture nonsense. Apparently they get together on weekends and do their own military training exercises. What are you planning on doing with the explosives, Jono? I mean, I'd get every wog, slope head, Jew, darky I could find, put them all together and blow the crap out of them. Clean up Australia Day. What do you reckon? How do we disarm it? Tell us. Too late now, you monkey-loving kike. Police launch, Harvey, the police launch nemesis. We'll take up position here. Yeah, that'll be good there, Dave. So who is this joker? Oh, you're Muhammad Yassin. He's an Islamic preacher or teacher or whatever. No, not him. The bloke was supposed to be backing us up on this one. Oh, uh, Michael Riley. Don't know. I haven't met him yet. Here they are now, right on time. G'day, Detective Michael Riley, VIP security. Frank Holloway, this is... Uh... Uh, Rachel Goldstein, pleased to meet you. Uh, Mr Yassin, the water police detectives I mentioned. How do you do? All this fuss, police and security, it really is not necessary. Well, an anonymous threat has been made against your life, Mr Yassin. We think it is necessary. I'm not afraid. That's terrific, but uh, we are. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you avoid any contact with anyone other than the journalists that have been cleared. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You've made sure they are not carrying bombs. In any case, I believe God will protect me. Well, he'll have us for backup, just in case. Love, trust, understanding and peace. That's the only message I bring. So you're not here to spread the word of Islam, Mr Yassi? The word of God, perhaps, which is in the Bible as well as in the Quran. Both are books which have the values I mentioned before at their core. But as many books before that, after them, they have been used to justify hate, distrust, and war. trust in each other is also greater than ever. Here, in Australia. How's it going over your way, Dave? Boring, but quiet. Yeah, a bit like being in church, actually. How would you know, Frank? Come on. I went to scripture classes when I was at school. I must have been smoking in the dunnies when that sort of stuff was going on. Thought we might have a problem, guys. Check out the top level of the terminal. Yeah, I got him. I'm gonna take a look. Can you look after Mr. Yassin? Yeah, copy that. Will do. You wanna come with me, Gav? In just over a year. The eyes of the world will be on your country. I... Hope and pray. Listen, we gotta snipe and secure the situation.
That's good work you did out there, Mick. That's what I get paid for. Still, you took a punt going for him like that. Oh, something you would have done in your heyday, Frank. Name's Barry Monk. Here's his wallet, complete with credit cards and driver's license. There's even a form guard in there if you'd have a look at, Frank. If you'd go out and assassinate someone with full ID. Yeah. yeah his prints are all over the gun. They didn't even wear gloves. <laughs> Silly buggers had a shocker of a day. Thanks, Frank. Uh, I suppose I'd better find somewhere for you to sit. Yeah, oh, yeah, I just, just want to hang my jacket. Yeah, I'll hold. You gonna be with us long? Oh, thanks. Uh, nah, only to Mr. Yassin leaves too. Hmm. Thought you might be putting your hand up uh, for the new vacancy. Vacancy? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting a third detective. Upgrading harbour security for the games and all that. Um, I'll, call, I'll call him back. That was a bad audition, you know. You should talk to Jeff. Well, if you're interested. <laughs> Why not? Would have thought you had your eyes on something a bit bigger. All these bits of paper that you've collected over the last few years. Oh, I was a bit of a late starter in the service, as you know, sir. You said to make up for lost time. Well, it's not all sunshine and boating out here, you know. Yeah, I know that, sir. I know that. I just definitely thought it'd be a step in the right direction for myself. Mm. I'm a bit of a sailing buff, too. Yeah, a bit of a sailor, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't own a boat. Yet. But I hear you do. Yeah, right. Well, your experience in security would certainly be a plus, given that we have extra funds for that purpose. Yeah, all right. Leave it with me. I'll get back to you. Shut the door on the way out, won't you? Thank you, sir. Not a bad list, Barry. Possession of prohibited firearm, assault with bodily harm, aggravated assault, and possession of prohibited import. What was the import? Well, why don't you tell me? Well, you're the one that got caught with it. What was it? Nerve gas? Shh. Come on, Barry, let's get the cards on the table here, OK? You were dobbed in. Someone knew the hit was on. They wanted you caught. Now, who do you reckon that might be, eh? Look, I want a lawyer. Excuse me, some more information on your friend? Oh, it's good for a laugh. <laughs> We've impounded your car, Barry. You left it in no standing zone. You used your own <laughs> car? Ah, it says here that you're a member of the Sons of Freedom. Now, that's a nasty stain on your character, isn't it? Who are they? You're a right-wing militia boy, are you? Hmm? You believe Hitler was a misunderstood genius, don't you? No wonder you're such an idiot. I told you, I'd never heard of it. You know, with a record like yours, I reckon you'd be looking at 20 years. I mean, I'm being such a smart-ass won't help him, will it? Mate, I'm not afraid of prison. Home away from home, is it? No. It'd be an honour to go away for trying to whack out some Arab who comes over here and tells us what to do with our country if that's what I was doing, which it wasn't. And anyway, just because you load me up with this crap doesn't mean someone else isn't going to have a go. Oh, yeah, someone like her. Let's just put it this way. No matter what happens to me, Mr Yassin is going to be leaving this country in a box. Here, yeah, take him down the police centre, charge him there. Hey, I want a bloody lawyer. Yeah, 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 let him ring his lawyer. There's a master criminal for you. you dangerous little mongrel, though. Mm. No, no, take a seat. You're fine. Oh, someone else computer literate. You're not Frank. Oh, you can turn him on. He gets a little lost after that. Pre-war generation, what can I say? Hey, what's it? Usually like us around here? Like, pretty quiet? Oh, yeah, quiet as a grave, mate. Battling the fill in the day. I hear you're looking for a third. Well, you know, if call comes in, I might be down the wharf fishing. Rachel, she's doing the crossword, you know. We need a third man to cover us. Oh, I've put my application in for homicide. I don't know if I'm going to go yet. But uh, you were in homicide, weren't you, Frank? Oh, yeah, too much excitement for me. Good for a young fellow like yourself, eh? It must be fun working with comedians in worse like this. Only when he's depressed. Ah, uh, meeting in Jeff's office. Phew, crowded in here. I like it. For his company. Or a crowd. So this guy, Mohammed Yassin, his life's still in danger. If you believe Barry Monk, it is. Right. And you think these lunatics, the Sons of Freedom, are involved? Oh, yeah, it's a fair bit. Yeah, what's their game? Ah, oh, you know, a ratbag outfit, believe in fear and violence. Basically, they want to kill anyone who isn't Anglo-Saxon or as mad as they are. Oh, well, I'm safe on both counts, then, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> we put away their leader, or Führer, whatever he calls himself last year, Jonathan Horswell. So you think Barry Monk's their leader? Ah, oh, Barry couldn't lead a dog round the park. I'd like to know who the tip-off came from about this assassination attempt. I reckon it's from inside the organisation. Yeah, a bit of in-house uh, factional fighting, I think, eh? A bit like Labour Party. I oh, know. It might be worthwhile having a word to John O'Horswell, see if he can shed any light on the matter. All right, Frank and I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Michael, have another word with Mr. Yassin, see if he can be persuaded to, uh, to reschedule his engagements. Sure. No, that's exactly what I was thinking, Jeff. Okay. All right, I'll take Sykes with you. 
Okay, that's it. Oh, one other thing. Uh, the press are angling for anything they can get on what happened this morning. The commissioner wants it kept under wraps, so don't go sticking your heads into the limelight. After you, Mick. Thank you, Frank. Riley and Holloway have been very nice to each other. Never a good sign, eh? Mm. I'm double parked, don't be long. Yeah, we'll uh, bring you back a chocolate mint. Mr. Yassin, we've come to ask you to put your speaking engagements on hold until we find the people who are trying to assassinate you. One should want to say. Yes, please. Or at least, you know, scale your tour down, mix it up a bit. My friends who have brought me out here, the people who are paying for me to have this wonderful view, expect me to continue, and I must. Your life is in danger, sir. What would your friends say if they knew you were going to be killed? I'm sure they would feel it was the will of God. Great friends. Frailty of human morality is everywhere. In some way, it is the business I'm in, but I'm a man of God. I can't let it control my work. If I did, I would get nothing done. Okay, okay. Will you do me one favour, please? Will you put your feet up for 24 hours and just enjoy the view? Milk. Courageous, isn't he? He's a bloody idiot, if you ask me, Sotsy. Yeah, but still, it must be good to believe in something as strongly as he does, you know? I know that if he gets shot, we look like drop kicks. That is the only thing I believe in. It's a good point. Hey, gentlemen. Yeah, right, I mate. Thank you. Daily Telegram. I don't know what to make of this Mick Riley. What do you reckon? Oh, he seems all right. Yeah, funny bloke. Why do you say that? Oh, makes you laugh. Well, that doesn't make him funny. I'm such a pushover. Don't laugh at my jokes. Well, I am a pushover, but I got my standards. about Barry Monk. What's Barry done? He's tried to kill someone. Well, good to hear he's doing something constructive with his life. Well, you see, we were tipped off about it. It appears that someone doesn't like him very much. Well, lots of people don't like Barry much. You know those soldiers that get mown down in the first wave? That's him. Loyal as a dog. Brain the size of a pea. He'd follow a piece of string if he thought it was leading somewhere. Who's he taking orders from these days? What's in this for me? Well, a word in the right ear, you know, you um, you could end up in the library. <laughs> Ooh, just what I always wanted. Look, Joe, the sons of freedom, they aren't what they used to be, are they? I mean, with uh, people like uh, Barry Monk having to do the big jobs. Sons of freedom just aren't what they used to be. And what they, I mean, what do you expect me to say? Since I've been in here, they not worth pissing on. Well, you know, maybe they just need a leader. Exactly. Now, why would you try and whack an Arab when there are chinks and darkies and kikes? Much more deserving of attention. How did you know Barry tried to kill an Arab? Killing you people, aren't you? Like rats. You did the tip-off, didn't you? Why would I do that? I don't know, megalomania, jealousy, resentment. You take your pick, mate. Because the organisation that you started isn't worth pissing on. You know, and you wanted to tell them how much you're needed. Come on, Barry, give us a name, eh? Who's the top of the heap in the Sons of Freedom these days? The library, you said. He couldn't wait to spill his guts. It's almost like he was waiting for us. You believe him? Well, as John O reckons that Mad Dog Buckley's the current commander in chief. Yeah, he's got the right background. He's got a couple of warrants for assault police and possessed prohibited firearms. So... Commander in chief. Got tickets on himself, hasn't he, eh? You got an address for the Buckley character? Certainly do, Chief. Good o. Yes, please. Here we go. They can follow us here.
kind of runner. You have a look out here. I'll go back in. Rachel! Jeez, all that shouting for nothing. You think this might have something to do with Yasin's visit to Australia? Sydney man will steps Opera House February 28th. Can you read Arabic? No, it's in Hebrew. English. How'd you get on? Oh, this is the only thing of note. It's Yasin speaking to a date there in English. Yeah, so from that I think we can assume that Horswell was telling you the truth. Uh, probably, but I reckon his motives are a bit suspect. I mean, he's not going to help us unless uh, he gets something out of it, is he? Which is, apart from getting a move to the library. Well, I reckon he wants to become leader of the Sons of Freedom, even from inside prison. OK, so this Yassin guy's going to continue his tour. The people who want to kill him are still at large and we've got no leads. Oh, well, we might have some other problems. We've got the Secretary of the World Bank and three IOC delegates in town as of tomorrow. What, have we got to babysit them too? Well, they're VIP security's responsibility, but, yeah, you'll be a part of it. Big day tomorrow. Riley, can I see you outside? The two detectives who foiled the attempt on the life of Islamic religious leader Mohammed Yassin. Riley, what did I tell you about sticking your head into the limelight? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, given our private conversation earlier, I hope this is not the way you plan to continue. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, Rachel. Yeah? Are you going for a drink somewhere? Oh, I hadn't thought about it, but it's an idea. Good, good, because I wanted to ask you advice on something. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not really your advice. I just wanted to run something past you and Frank before it became official. Ah, uh, you've applied for the job here. Oh, you knew? Well, you know, ask me to put two and two together. I usually come up with four. Yeah. Well, Jeff said the job's basically mine, but I just wanted to make sure it was all right with you and Frank. That's right, especially Frank. Ah, oh, look, he's a pussycat once you get to know him. Besides, from what I've seen, you can give as good as you get. Well, for a beer, are we? Good idea. Ah, uh, look, I might give it a miss, you know. You two can get to know each other. See ya. Hey, yeah, right. Let's go, eh? Yeah, I hope I didn't tread around anyone's toes with that photo. No, oh, only Hawkers, mate. Don't worry about mine. I've got steel toe caps. Still, you know, you and Rachel, you've been a double act around here for a while. Michael, there's always room for one more in a happy family. That's good. That's good. I mean, you know, I don't want to... Um... I mean, you know, I mean, when you think about it, you know, I mean, I might be working with you guys. We're hoping to work with you guys anyway, so I don't want to. Anyway, as long as you're happy, then I'm happy. Happy? I'm as happy as a pig in the proverbial. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Uh, Barman, could I have two more, please? Come again? <laughs> oh, no, look, hey, Frank, I, I might uh, actually oh, head off, finish this off. rubbish. So tell me, what is it? Homicide via the water police? Is that the grand plan? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's the grand plan. I mean, you got to have one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I reckon that's where I went wrong, you know. I never had one. Yeah, what went wrong with you and Homicide, Frank? I mean, you know, how come they, uh, they put you back at patrol and demoted you? Yeah, well, I reckon I was killing too many people. You see, I thought that was the way to get ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. So, Michael, I've got to confess, look, um, you've obviously done your homework on me, but I know nothing about you, so what do you say we drink up and tell me a life story? Yeah. What's the other for? It's a good shot, I tell you, the Australians are going to be good this season. Yeah, looking all right, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, be sure. Not a bad side. Not bad, not bad. Yeah? It's a church, eh? You're a bit of a churchgoer. Oh, you know, it, it's it's a Catholic thing. It's uh, more a social ritual than religion. You know? But once you're in it, you never get away from it anyway. Oh, can if you need to. Well, there's no need to, that's right. You know, I've got nothing to rebel against, I suppose. I had a great childhood. I love my mum, I love my dad, uh, I've got a couple of sisters, one older, one younger. Uh, I've got a younger brother and I've got two great nephews, eh? Hey? Great nephews. <laughs> yeah. So why this, um, this burning ambition to go after every course, every certificate going? Oh, I was a bit of a late starter. Uh, I was in my mid-twenties before I decided to become a cop. So I figured, you know, I had a bit of catching up to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man in a hurry and no woman slowing you down. Yeah, not for long, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Me and women. Mate, it's got tits or wheels brings you grief. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, Frank. Well, what, uh, what, what category is Goldstein in then? Well, you know, because, you know, I mean, you guys, I mean, look, hey, she's an impressive woman. Uh, you know, you guys, you, you work pretty close together and you, and you have quite a while. That's it, precisely. We work together. That's what we do, work together. Anyway, um, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Hey, barman. A couple more, thanks. Why not? Yeah, why not?
Big night at the office, was it, mate? Yeah, I went out drinking with Frank. <laughs> you know what you look like? Well, you look like you need a holiday. Yeah. Hey, Dave, you want to swap heads? No, I don't think okay, so. just for a couple of hours, that's all. So the old fella led you astray, did he? Badly. Yeah, well, that'll teach you. Fellas, they're ready for you in the muster room. Good luck. You're going to need it. As you know, Michael Riley from VIP Security has been... <coughs> Thank you, Tavita. VIP Security has been helping coordinate this operation, and I suggest that we get used to seeing him around the place because we'll be seeing a lot more of him. He'll be joining us as our third detective. Mm. I'm sure he'll only be too pleased to let each and every one of you buy him a celebratory drink at some stage. Today, however, Mr. Mohammed Yassin... Oh, you know, shocking. What and he'll be Just talking to the biggest drinks. gathering on his tour, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. He'll be arriving at the Manor War Steps on the Nemesis at approximately 1,100 hours. Michael? Uh, well, the, the Opera House itself will be uh, secured uh, thoroughly in advance. Um, are there certain sections of the botanical gardens here where these risers are? Here, here that we'll actually need to go over, check them, cover them, and, and secure them. All right, thanks, Michael. Uh, <clears throat> boat crew maintain security on the water. Walton Woods McCall, I want you to check around the sea walls here and around the landing, under the landing there. So, what about the other VIPs, the uh, guys from the World Bank, uh, delegates from IOC? No, Tommy, that won't be until this afternoon when Mr Yassin's show is well and truly out of the way. But Michael will brief you in plenty of time. Right. Won't you, Michael? Yeah. Yes, Frank. Uh, sir, a question for Michael. Uh, Michael, these places of concealment, will VIP security be handling those or will they be sharing that around with us? I don't actually suppose uh, we'd be sharing those, Frank. All oh, right. And um, do we get to have a drink with the distinguished guests after the show? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, they're Muslim, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Frank. Oh, no, that's it, everybody. Thank you very much. OK. <laughs> Frank, Rachel, I wonder if you'd mind popping into my office on the way out? John O. Horswell's request to be moved to the prison library has been granted. It'll necessitate him being moved to another institution, which I believe is happening today. Oh, lucky fella. Yeah. Now, I've just had confirmation that the new position here is going to be upgraded to a sergeant's job. And I'd expect either one or both of you to apply, which will allow Riley to slot in as senior constable as planned. Uh, do we have to? No. But if you don't, somebody else will then either one of you two, or Riley, will be transferred out of here. Uh, do you want it? Do you want the third stripe? You're kidding, aren't you? What, you expect me to ask for something that should never have been taken away from me in the first place? <laughs> Turn it up, Jeff. Wait, well. <laughs> So what do you think? You're going to go for it? What? Be your boss? Come on. End in tears. Oh, I could handle it if you could. No, we're partners. I think that's the only way we can work together. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if we haven't got that, what have we got, eh? What? Well, you and I are working together. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Right. Follow your one on channel. We're monitoring that situation at the Opera House for those water police crews. Over. Copy that, Polly, you won't thank you. How's it going in there? Oh, they seem to have everything under control. So are these blokes? Uh, local Islamic community leaders is Yassin's welcoming committee. They've been checked? Yeah, it's happening now. Uh, do you want to see what the uniform blokes are doing? Uh, Travelling around on this beautiful harbour. Tommy, what's the situation at your end? I see he's just stepping onto the boat now. Thanks, Nemesis. Thank Reckon you can take me out for a drink tonight? Why would I do that? Well, unlike Riley, I won't get drunk unless you do. And I think we've got a few things to talk about. Oh, yeah. Any likely customers? Not so far. Just the usual sort of tourists and picnickers. Good day. Nice day for it. Absolutely. Great. Frank, it's Mick. We're on our way with Mr Yassin now. You finished down there, Dave? Nemesis on its way over. Yeah, copy that. 
Hey, you going down there? I need a couple of suspicious barnacles. Yeah, well, come on, let's wrap it up. Nemi's on its way. Copy that. Better. Yeah, no kidding. Dave, I've got something. It's an explosive device of some sort. I can't see a time to maybe it's remote control. Cease all radio contact. Nemesis turn back. Well, it was obviously detonated by someone within sight of the location. Who saw that the device had been discovered and thought... Yeah, why the hell not, Hey, We can't get the Arab, let's get a few sympathisers and a couple innocent bystanders. Yeah, it's probably Buckley or one of his moronic mates hiding in the gardens. Or from a boat, anywhere. As long as they could see the man of war steps through binoculars. There were no casualties and the address went off without a hitch, albeit an hour or two late. Mm, I tell you, it didn't deter Yassin. You know, probably prove that uh, God is on his side. With a bit of help from some of us sinners. Look, the point is Mr Yassin's less than halfway through his tour, OK? We've got to find these people. Got the report from crime scene here. Now, there's no concrete connection to the Sons of Freedom, but it would seem very likely that the explosives used were the same as the ones that Horswell stole before we put him away. Why doesn't that surprise me? And your friend Barry Monk wants a chat? Had a change of heart? Before I say anything, I want protection inside, all right? Protection from who? Well, who do you think? Why? What'd you do? Yeah. When's Jono ever need a reason to kill anyone? Apart from Jews and Slopes, you mean? He's never been charged with murder. Yeah. I know. Who'd he kill? No, 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 no. You give me protection, and I can tell you where all the bodies are hidden, yeah? Yeah, well, that's all well and good, Barry, but you see, it doesn't help us with our present problem. You see, Buckley and all your other mates, they're still running around out there. Now, if you could give us a clue as to where we might start looking. All right, I can tell you where the base is. Will Buckley be there? Maybe. It's where all the guns and ammo and stuff are kept. Yeah, but look, have we got a deal or what? Well, I'll tell you what, Barry. If you tell us where this place is and it checks out, well, sure, we just might help you stay alive. Now, that sound fair? All right. It's just a matter of standing by the cruiser in Darling Harbour. Now, the IOC delegates have changed their schedule. They won't be meeting till later on at Kirribilli House. But our main priority is Howard Cohen. He's the Secretary of the World Bank. Let's worry about him, OK? I'll get you. Let's go. How'd you go with that interview with Monk? Oh, we're lining up a raid on their HQ. Listen, if half of what he's telling us is true, we'll knock over the whole box and dice in one hit. Oh, that's a pity. I'd love to be coming with you. Haven't you had enough excitement for one uh, day? Never. Helen just got a call from Corrective Services. General Horse will escape while being transferred to another prison. The van was attacked by a couple of guys with assault rifles. Well, that's why he did the deal with us. Well, look on the bright side, boss. When we round up Buckley and his mob, he might be there too. Yeah, right. Great. Uh, Water Police 200, uh, Sierra Charlie 256. Are you at the location yet? Yeah, we're in position now, 200. Over.
Stephen Mad Dog Buckley. Oh, jeez, I saw this guy at the park. Looks like Jono got here before us and resumed command. What's he done with his merry men? Where's Yasin? He's at the hotel. But I don't reckon it's Yasin he's after. If Jono's in command, he doesn't care about Arabs, he cares about Jews. What are you saying? Howard Cohen, leader of the World Bank. Riley, he's with the target.
Thanks. Don't mention it. And lastly, I've just spoken to the Commissioner who's asked me to pass on his congratulations to all of you for a job well done. With a special mention to Constable Sykes, Tavita, Johnson and Detective Riley who are instrumental in saving the life of the Secretary of the World Bank. So you guys will be good for a loan then? <laughs> Small beer, perhaps? <laughs> OK, that's it, everybody. Thank you. Starting to regret coming here? No, is it usually this quiet around here? Oh, sometimes we get the Scrabble game out, you know, things really fire up. Oh, give a call when that comes on. <laughs> Frank, can I see you for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Frank, you're mucking it around long enough. What's the story? You're going to apply for this sergeant's job or what? You spanked the Goldstein? Yeah. Well, she doesn't seem to think it would work if she was your boss. Or if I became hers, the same deal. So you're not going to apply for it either? Look, I just think bringing in another D is going to stuff things up. What do you got against Michael Riley? Look, Rachel and I, we're a good team. You want to break us up and now it's my problem? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Frank? Oh, gee, that's a tough one, Jeff. But I guess that's why you're the detective chief inspector and I'm not. Shut the door on the way out. What do you think they'll do? Move Michael on, maybe? Get some... someone who wants a cushy pre-retirement job? Don't know. Poor bloke in for a bit of a shock, though. Gee, I tell you. I suppose one of us could leave, you know? But the other one... That's a great idea. I'll toss you for it. Tails, you go, heads, I stay. Uh -huh. Oh, heads it is. Hang on, I didn't see it. Yeah, double-headed coin. No, to hell with it, Rachel. We'll both stay. It's not our problem. <laughs> 